I have this amazing book, amazing cute little book, and the book is Possum Magic by Mem Fox and Julie Beavers. Yes, yes, we have this amazing little book. And it looks like it's a, it's a story of two possums. Yes, two possums. And that's Possum Magic by Mem Fox and Julie Venus. Guys, are you guys ready? Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Possum Magic, written by Mem Fox and illustrated by Julie for Chloe, Anna and Kate. It looks like it's a story about two possums. Once upon a time, but not very long ago, deep in Australian bush lived two possums. Their names were Hush and Grandma Poss. Guys, it looks like it's a story about two possums. Num name Hush and named Hush and Grandma Puss. It looks like she's Hush and that's Grandma Push, guys. Oh, they look so cute. They look so cute. Grandma Puss made some bush magic. She made wombats, blue and kookaburras pink. <laughs> she made wombats, blue and kookaburras pink. She made Dingo smile and emu shrink. The, be the best of all the best magic of all was the magic that made Hush invisible. Guys, well, it looks like Grandma Hush can do magic and she can do all kinds of magic, guys. She can do all kinds of magic. Hello, Monique. Welcome to story time. And I'm really, really sorry I'm a bit early today, a couple of minutes early. From our usual time and we're using we're, we're reading possum magic and in this book there well we're meeting possums two possums actually hush and grandma puss and it looks like grandma push can do magic hello mona salam welcome to story time and i'm really really sorry i'm a couple of minutes early today because i'm going somewhere i'm in i'm inside the train i'm in melbourne and we're live from melbourne guys yes and we're gonna read possum magic and it's about two possum actually grandma puss and hush and it looks like grandma push can do magic well she made wombats blue and kookaburras pink she made dingo smile and emu shrink but the best magic of all was the magic that made hush invisible well, that made Hush invisible. What adventures Hush had? Because she couldn't be seen, she could be squashed by koalas. Guys, Grandma Push can make Hush disappear. But then again, it's really dangerous because she can be squashed. She could be squashed by koalas. Koalas. Then, because she couldn't be seen, she could slide down kangaroos. Now guys, they're, they're trying to, they're trying, he's trying really, really hard, really hard around animals, guys. But then again, he's having so much fun. He's just sliding through kangaroos. Because they couldn't be seen, she was safe from snakes, which is why Grandma Post made her invisible in the first place. Now because of her safety and because Grandma Post loves Hush so, so, so much, he wants, he wanted to make her, her invisible. And well then, then she could be safe from snakes too. Mm. But one day, quite unexpectedly, Hus said, Grandma, I want to know what I look like. Please, could you make me visible again? Of course I can, said Grandma Puss. And she began to look through her magic book. Now Kai is enough being invisible. Now she wants to be visible again. And well, and explore the world because well, she's not able to see her shadows and the water too. She looked into this book and she looked into that. There was magic for thin and magic for fat and magic for tall and magic for small. But the magic she was looking for wasn't there at all. Oh no, guys! Well, she made him invisible for his 
She made her invisible for her safety, but I don't think she can undo it. Grandma Poss looked miserable. Don't worry, Grandma, said Hush. I don't mind. I don't mind being invisible. It's okay if you can't make me invisible again. But in her heart of hearts, she did. No, I don't want to be invisible no more. But she did mind. All night long, Grandma Poss thought and thought. The next morning, just before breakfast, she shouted, It's something to do with food. People's food. Not possum food, but I can't remember what. We'll just have to try and find it. Now guys, Grandma Puss is trying, really, really, desperately trying to make her visible again. And so, well, I think it has something to do with food. So later that day, they left the bush where they had always been to find what it was that would make her sheen. Now, now, now. Searching begins, guys. The search begins. I'm really sorry, guys. The train is moving really fast. The search begins, and it's like now she's trying really, really hard to find what could make her seen again. They ate Anzac biscuits in Adelaide, Morney and Minties in Melbourne, steak and salad in Sydney, and pumpkin scones in Brisbane. Hush, remain invisible. Don't lose heart, said Mama Post. Let's see what we can find in Darwin. Now, guys, they're moving. They are exploring whole Australia to find they to find the solution of being visible again. It was there in the far north of Australia. They found a Vegemite sandwich, guys. Grandma Post crossed her cards and crossed her feet, hushed deep, breathed deeply, and began to eat a tail, a tail. Sounded both portions at once. But there it was a brand new visible tail now guys they are they are just polluting the whole australia to find the solution and they're in adelaide they're in brisbane but they're in adelaide and they're eating a vegemite sandwich far north of australia guys later on a beach in perth they ate a piece of pub Pavlova, Hush's legs appeared so did her body you look wonderful you precious possum said grandma Poss. Next stop, Tasmania, and over the sea they went. Now, guys, they're moving, they're exploring the whole Australia, Perth, Adelaide, Melbourne, and then, and then the next stop is Tasmania. In Hobart, late one night, in the kitchens of the casino, they saw a lamington on a plate. Hush closed her eyes and nippled. Grandma paused, held her breath, and waited. It walked, it's walked, it's walked, she cried. And she was right. Hush could be seen from head to tail. Grandma Paws hugged Hush and they both danced. Here we go round the lamington plate till early in the morning. Now guys, Hush is visible again with all kinds of food. And they explored the whole Australia to make it happen. From that time onwards, Hush was visible. But once a year on her birthday, she and Grandma Paws ate a Vegemite sandwich, a piece of pavlova and a half a lamington just to make sure that her stayed visible forever. And she did. And she did, guys. Well, they don't know what worked. They don't know what worked. So they're just, just trying to eat them every birthday so that, so that she could stay, she could stay visible all the time. What an amazing, amazing book, guys. We learned, we learned so many, so many, so many names of Australian animals. And then again, they explored the whole Australia to find the solution. What a love from Grandma and Possum. Little Possum. Grandma was a little Possum husk.